Right, so mum's going to test it. Go on, test it, mum. Guys, today is a historic day. We all know Case Cooking, we all love Case Cooking, but in her videos there is a secondary character, a man who doesn't need all the spotlight, who is just there to support his mother. You know who I'm talking about. It's Lee, the one and only son of Case Cooking. Now, me and Lee have a bit of a rough past. You know, I used to accuse him of being a super soldier for the British government. You know, having to eat Kay's food on a daily basis as some sort of training. Now, not to say that I don't still think that maybe, but hey, I'm willing to look past that because I have made a giant discovery. Lee has his own channel. A channel that he uploads to like every other day. And while he didn't choose to fully follow in his mother's footsteps, he does have one cooking video and boy, is it wonderful. So you already know what time it is. It's Big Lee time, baby. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. This video <clears throat> that I'm about to do has been requested so many times. I can't remember how many times it's been requested. It's literally lord. Am I going insane? Or is anybody else getting some sort of Gordon Ramsay vibes here? I don't know if it's just the mannerisms, but I was just taking the kitchen nightmares for a second there. But before I start, I just want to let you know I have lost my battery charger for the camcorder, so I have no idea, so I might have to switch cameras off way around. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I watched this through when he started to say I lost my battery charge, I'm not even making a joke here for a second, I thought he was about to say like he lost a court case where he was getting charged with battery or something. I was like, oh my god, maybe he is a super soldier. Right guys, so I've got all the pans set up, doing this by myself. All right, so I guess tonight's all about transparency because I'm not lying about this either. When I saw the words hot hop, I had to look up what that meant. I mean, I'm capable of using context clues. I assumed it had something to do with a stove, but I just wanted to be sure exactly what it was because the first thing that came to mind was like a sexy hobgoblin, and uh, I had a feeling that was probably not correct. Um, a good way to do bacon is... Don't put anything in with the bacon, let it cook in its own juices. Did me does that just sound dirty? Let it cook in its own juices. Uh, no. But you made it weird by pointing that out. That's not the first time that's going to happen either. Just prepare yourselves. And yeah, that's a fine way to cook bacon, but it doesn't seem like any heat is being transferred to this bacon, Lee. Are you sure this hob is hot? All right, so as I continued to watch this, I started to pick up on things that I never really noticed in Kay's videos. I guess that Kay cooks with really low temperatures, and she might have passed that on to Lee while teaching him how to cook, because it takes three minutes for this little bit of butter to melt. And it makes sense now. I don't know why it took so long for me to put two and two together, but I'm assuming this is why Kay often undercooks her stuff. Or maybe they just need a new hob. And there we are, two eggs. Just gonna quickly... Alright, I wanna wash my hands, but I've gotta mix it. I'm gonna some kind of... Oh yeah, what am I using? What am I using that? I'm an idiot. Lee is a carbon copy of his mom cooking, not taking anything too seriously, making sure everything takes about eight times as long to cook as it normally would. But I've got to say that I don't know how much I can respect this dish. You know, Kay messes up her cooking sometimes, but she's making things that nobody has ever made before. You know, like cucumber pasta. You really can't mess up eggs and bacon. Now for the next two and a half minutes, uh, Lee stands here in pretty much complete silence just stirring these eggs, so uh, I think we're gonna skip forward. Right, so, bit of mess here, but that's the scrambled egg out, and the toast is doing it now. Right guys, I've done this in the freaking awkwardest way possible, you know, I've done it all in reverse, but anyway, toast is done, boss, can you see that? Both sides buttered, I mean, not buttered, 
Ball size, toasted, whatever. I love how Lee felt the need to clarify that. Like, we're sitting here at home doubting the fact that both sides have been toasted. Just sitting here twiddling our fingers like, okay, sure. Show me the other side of the toast. No, my question is why is the bread just scattered across the hob? Do you not have a third plate for this? Okay, everywhere this butter. Lee, buddy, I I've seen what Kay cooks on that stove. I don't know if you really want to be buttering your bread just directly on top of that hob right there. This is the same stove that cooked the notorious cheesecake. You've got to keep that in mind. Right, now this is what's supposed to have happened the first time. So, what are you doing? Right, so you get your first, right, yes, so, first there, uh, that's your toast there, right? You get the scrambled eggs that you cooked earlier on, which you shouldn't have, but yeah, you did. And you put it on the plate. All right, Lee, a few quick questions. First off, is it necessary for me to miss the toast with half of the scrambled eggs? Also, do I have to wait 30 minutes after cooking the scrambled eggs to put them on the toast? Do I have to allow them to get cold and disgusting first? And thirdly, and probably most importantly for me, am I allowed to put the toast on the plate? Sorry for so many questions, I just really don't want to mess this recipe up. Right, so your scrambled egg and toast is there. Right, for your next bit, Right, you pick up the toast, and you can see this, can you see it? Can you just come in and make sure they can watch to see this? Okay, now I'm not even joking anymore. I'm actually starting to wonder if Kay has like some sort of no bread on plate policy or like only one slice at a time. He is purposefully putting the bread on the oven. Why? There is space on that plate, Lee. Oh, this video is just me thinking, can you see this? Can you see this? Hey, yeah, your toast is there. Do you need yes. a step ladder so you can see? Do you want a slap? Right, so, you cut it in half with a really blunt knife, which shouldn't have a sharp knife, like that. Then you chuck the knife at your mother's head for being cocky, and they put the. Like that, like that, like that. But that is not the end of it. Well, I mean, I would hope not because I am thoroughly confused. Why did you cut that second piece of toast in half? I was under the impression we were making like an egg and bacon sandwich, but now we've created like a breakfast butterfly. What is happening? Right guys, so all that's done. You get a bit of ketchup. Now, this could go terribly wrong, so... Oh, it will. It's a good thing you like ketchup. I don't like... No, not like ketchup. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> and you just do it like that. Now look, I know a lot of people eat ketchup on their eggs. Uh, I just want to make it clear that I think that you should never, ever do this. For as long as you live, you should never think about eating ketchup on eggs. I really think we need to shift the hate towards people who eat pineapple on pizza to people who eat ketchup on eggs. So, yeah, mom's gonna come to a taste test. Right, so mom's gonna test it. Go on, test it, mom. What? I don't like the red sauce. All right, fine, go for that. Is this scrambled egg good enough? Yeah. All right, good. You know, I really like this style of judgment, Kay. I think that Lee is often too easy on you. You gotta tell him how it is. Is your orgasms of flavors in your mouth? Uh, Lee, that is one of the weirdest things you can say to your mother. Uh. I'm not even, not even sure what to say about that. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just all pretend like that didn't happen because that's how I want to, that's how I want to treat that. No, I don't know. I don't know. I love bacon anyway, but yes, it's very nice. Big thumbs up. Okay. 
Don't lie to me. Well, guys, overall, the food in this video looked mildly edible. I'm still really hung up on how much time the toast spent on the stove. There's got to be an explanation for that, and I really want it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.